Welcome to Every Lock Picker's Nightmare, a 100% pick-proof lock. <laughs> so that's a car ignition lock that I got from Pick Me 1977 a long time ago, but just recently I grabbed it and gave it a try. So let's inspect the lock and I will tell you why I think that this lock is 100% pick-proof. First, the key, it says for GM cars. Looks like a usual key with a pretty easy bidding. Of course you insert the key and then you can turn the plug. So if you turn these, this handle here you can imagine that the engine starts. So without the key it doesn't turn. Okay we have a pretty easy bidding. We have a key which uh, shows that there are actually almost no warding inside and when we look inside the keyhole we can see this little piece of warding on the left hand side but that's not a big deal and we can see that it is a wafer lock so shouldn't be too difficult to pick into this lock if we take a pick we can feel all the wafers very nicely so now what you would normally do is you tension the, the plug and try to pick the wafers. Tensioning is also <laughs> very easily to do because you can just use the handle to give tension to the plug. You can see that's directly connected with the plug. So no big deal. No tension wrench required. So I hold the um, outside um, of the lock in my hand, so the um, the outside cylinder. I turn it and it doesn't change, so it doesn't matter if I apply tension on the plug or not. All the wafers are springy. I can turn as hard as I like. I did it in the vise and tried several other things. It doesn't work. So none of the wafers bind. Um, next I was searching for a secret spot to, to push onto. So something to trigger so that the um, wafers start binding, but there is no, no secret here. Um, no secret other than the locking mechanism itself. So you cannot pick this lock and <laughs> I will show you why. I will take it apart and this is done very easily. I've already removed some parts so that um, this assembling um, uh, doesn't take too long. So you need to push on this uh, piece here. It's a quarter moon that holds the plug in place. When you use the key and turn the plug, this piece here should come off. So now it's off and we can pull out the plug. These are springs and other parts we are not interested in and also these parts here can be moved out of the way and we are left with the plug and the outside cylinder. So from the plug we can see that we have a rectangular piece here which um, blocks the rotation if it's not retracted. Currently it's not because no key is inserted. And this rectangular piece here goes in that groove, in that cutout here. And so you can see you cannot turn the, the plug. Now with the key inserted, plug can turn because now this piece here is retracted. No big deal. So you might start to understand why this lock cannot be picked. If you, if you look at the way this works, you can see that when you, when you apply tension on the plug, you apply, you apply force from the side of this little piece here, which just um, yeah, gives it a, a slight um, angle. So that's everything you can cause with applying tension on the on the plug. But the locking mechanism itself um, isn't tensioned by that. So in order to tension the locking mechanism you would need to 
push on this piece here. I can show you when you can push on it and then rake the rake the wafers. You can see that it's easily possible to, to pick this lock. So I can show you that you can insert it now at any place and when you turn it to the place where the rectangular piece here can um, stick in, so this this cutout here, um, it then goes out and the lock is again locked up. So that's the whole secret, that's the, the built-in locking mechanism which isn't tensioned by uh, by turning the plug. So if you cannot tension locking mechanism, you cannot pick the, the lock. Yeah, You can see how this piece here um, is, is spring-loaded, so we can we can see that, uh, maybe if I use the key you can see it a little bit better. So this, this piece here extends underneath the two springs. So there's two springs here are pushing uh, downwards uh, on this piece here and when you insert the key with the right bidding um, it makes free the the way um, of this this rectangular piece here, and it can retract. Uh, and here you can see the the wafers moving. If I insert the key, and then it's retracted if the bidding matches the cutouts um, on the wafers. Yeah, I have no idea how you would. Uh, ever be able to pick this lock. Um, also impressioning uh, will not work I believe because you cannot um, yeah you cannot tension the, the mechanism by, by turning. Maybe you can bump it. I've never heard of bumping a wafer lock but that's the only possibility I can imagine that you get into this lock without having uh, the right key. Yeah you would need to, to apply tension onto this piece here Maybe if you drill a hole in here, you could stick in something and uh, push on it. That's the only possibility. Um, but that's a kind of a destructive entry. And I would say if, you're, if you exclude destructive options, you will not be able to pick this lock. Yeah, if you have a different opinion on that, or if you have a good idea, how to uh, pick it, please let me know in the comments. Yeah, that's the 100% pick proof lock <laughs> as far as my ideas go. And yeah, pick me 1977. Thank you very much for sending this lock to me. Yeah, and everybody else, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye bye. bye.